Hi everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and I just completed um, the companion project for Come One Come All and this is a six and a quarter by six and a quarter by two and a half mini album. So this has been long requested a smaller form factor for um, the album. It has four pocket pages. So this has now become, the, the base of this has now become part of our base album playlist. We have lots of different sizes to choose from. If you want to design your own flaps, this just helps you build and gives you the measurements for the chipboard and the pocket pages. And then as usual, the way I organize my projects is into a playlist based on the paper name. So this is Come One, Come All. And in that playlist, you're going to find the playlist for the tent. And then following that will be the playlist for this companion project. The reason I'm calling it a companion project is this form factor is going to fit right inside the tent. So, and that was by design, right? So that you could put this inside if you wanted, and it won't interfere with any of the features that are inside the tent on the sides. <clears throat> You don't have to do it that way, but it would fit inside. And we had some extra paper left over. So on the front, I featured a small ephemera card here and then a piece of chipboard. And this is also a piece of chipboard. Right here is a tag. It's a regular size tag from one of my other projects. I had, it turned out, one of these regular size tags left. So I used it as um, a fastener. I wanted a fastener on this project because um, when it's inside the tent, if you store it in there, I didn't want it to splay open and possibly interfere with the pockets and flaps that are inside the tent. Right here, I also featured um, one of the uh, chipboard pieces from Graphic 45. Here's another chipboard piece. So I think this turned out really cute. <laughs> I, I really like the way this came together. This was probably one of my favorite patterns. So I did forget to cover this, and I'm going to come back and do that um, so that my magnets aren't showing. I, and I have plenty of paper to do that. I just It just got away from me. I was finishing this up in the middle of the night last night. So on the inside, we've got um, regular, I'm not sorry, square tags. And um, I used the Graphic 45 square tag die. And then I also have these nice large bifolds for photos. There's enough paper uh, left over from the tent project that you can do full page inserts and cover both sides, front and back, which is kind of nice. And that makes this really rigid. Now, a lot of times I don't cover all of this because I don't have enough paper. Um, and I know that if you're going to put photos on it, it's going to make it more rigid anyways. But if you put um, designer paper front and back on 65 pound cardstock, it's plenty rigid. Um, so it goes in and out of these pockets very easily. <clears throat> Two flaps and then a nice photo mat here, which I think turned out nice. This reminds me of ladybugs for some reason. Um, and then on the next page, um, and you'll see repetitive page patterns, mostly because of the size of the album. Nice large photo insert and a square tag, which I was able to decorate front and back. And this is basically the same thing on this page. Another insert. Uh, this is page four and five, and this just made for a nice large photo layout. So I didn't want to do, I didn't want to cut the page in half at all. So if you had um, uh, a five by five photo would fit here perfectly and be framed out nicely. Another uh, insert, and then we're going to start to see the um, same page patterns or mechanisms uh, throughout the rest of the album. I was able to cover both the front and back of these tags. I did use a full pack of the square tags for this album. Okay, and this one, so the first one I did a four by four photo mat, and then this one I did a five by five, and I actually like it better because more of the photo mat shows. So if I was to do it again, I would make this larger, and in fact, in the, um, in the uh, banner, I think I even mentioned that if I had it to do again, I'd make that photo mat a little bit bigger. And then of course, this is uh, another insert and a tag. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna go bring the tent in so you can see how it fits. Okay, I got the tent ready here. So if you open it up, and uh, if you haven't seen the other video, this is basically the inside. So we've got some flaps and inserts. So this, these two projects used quite a bit of tags. Um, each one used a full pack. This was the square ones and this is the rectangle. And then of course I had one stray regular one to, 
to be the clasp on the, the mini album. Okay, and this fits in there just nice and neat. So I just wanted to show you that it does fit inside. I'm gonna hold this close for a second. And you can see that you can wiggle it around a little. Now, one of the things I toyed around with was making a little platform for this. The challenge with that is, <laughs> even if I put it on a platform, it would just be yet another piece. So um, it doesn't really work out because you need to open this uh, to see the features on the sides. So it makes for a great display. Um, but there's really kind of no way to get a bottom on here without um, just creating yet another piece. So, I mean, we could do basically a tray like this on the bottom so you could move the whole tent at once, um, but then you just wind up taking uh, the sides out so that you could splay it open and see the flaps anyway. So that's uh, the project. Um, so I got a, a lot of feedback on this and some people had come up with some different ideas for using the tent which I hadn't thought of. I thought of a carousel, which is pretty obvious. Um, but somebody said a birdcage, and I thought, oh, that's a great one for a garden, right? So um, I think this turned out to be a neat little project. It's pretty uh, novel. Um, it's not quite your same, you know, square Ooh. mini album. So I hope you guys enjoyed these two projects, and I'll be back soon. My next project, I'm working on blue ferns, uh, James Memoirs. So that'll be coming up next uh, in the next, uh, I don't know, anywhere seven to 10 days. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create.